So I've been experimenting and wanted to find out a creative way to use these with gel plate printing. I did create a few examples here. And as you can see, I have some pink on my plate in which I created this. Now there is some shimmer to it. I do not know if it will come up on the camera very well. This one I absolutely love. Tore the paper a little bit, but we'll just pretend that never happened. And this one. So I'm going to show you how I created these amazing background papers. And then we're going to try a laser print, transfer it onto one of these papers and see what we get. I am not going to clean off my plate. I am going to leave it here. And hopefully it'll add some color into the print in the end. I am going to use Color Wash Tint by Tattered Angels. It has a beautiful gold shimmer to it, although it doesn't really show up on the final print. It still works really well. Now usually I would just spray it on there, but this bottle does not have a sprayer, so I am just going to have to pour it right on the gel plate. Now we're going to need to thicken this up just a tad to help it move around the plate. I will show you this is what it will do, which is not exactly what we're after here. So we need to thicken that up a little bit, and we're going to do that by adding some clear gesso. And we will mix it up a little bit. Move it around on the plate until it's nice and smooth. Now I'm using the clear gesso just to thicken the color. So if you leave it like this, you will see that it's starting to separate on the gel plate there. And that's what we want. I'm going to remove a little bit. Now this technique, it does take a little time to dry. So if you have two gel plates that you can work with, you can set this one up and let it dry. Maybe you can put a fan on it or fan it with a magazine. I usually set this up and then go do something else for a little while and then I come back and it's all dry. Now I'm trying to get the lines of the brayer off of here by lightly going over it and I think that looks pretty good. We're going to leave that and let that dry and like I said this does take a little bit of time but you can definitely speed it along by fanning it a little bit. So we're going to come back when that is dry and then we will go on to the next step. It feels pretty dry. I think we're good to go. So I'm going to lift this print with parchment. What I need to do is put a line of paint right across like that. And then I'll take my brayer and get the brayer mixed with paint without disturbing the blue. It will react a little bit with the paint, but you will still have a beautiful background page when you're finished. And hopefully we'll get a little bit of that pink that I left on the plate before we even started. Now I'm going to leave some links in the description box below on how to get a hold of some of these sprays if you want to try this technique yourself. Also, there is other good information in the description box. 
So check that out. All right, let's pick it up and see what we get. Now I'm picking this up with just regular copy paper. And I'm not pressing down hard, I'm just rubbing to make sure the paper gets in contact with the gel plate. All right, are you ready for the reveal? Isn't that cool? I love this. And there we go. And I did pick up some of the color that was left on the plate from the previous print. And there is some shimmer to it. So we are going to transfer this cute little bunny onto one of these prints. I'm going to use Carbon Black and, and a little bit of Open Acrylic Medium because I want the paint to stay wet a little longer. Through the process of rolling it out, it sometimes has a tendency to dry too quickly. All right, let's lift it with this print. I'm trying to decide if I want that to be the top or this to be the top. I think I'll do it this way. Yeah, that is perfect. Now all of this I will clean up, but I will leave those edges. all curling on me and there is the print isn't that amazing I absolutely love it all right should we do one more let me prepare one more laser print and we'll do one more we'll use the pink background it looks like I lost some footage when using the black paint with the open acrylic you want to lift your print right away. You don't wait for it to dry. But we're going to do it the other way. We're going to use some carbon black, roll it out, let it dry, and then lift it with clear gesso or matte medium. Either one will work just the same. We're going to use the same print, and that will give us a good comparison. We're going to let this dry, and then we will transfer it onto this background. Now you can use a matte medium or a clear gesso to lift this print. I'm just using clear gesso because it is handy. All right, now we're going to we're going to lift the print onto this beautiful background.
All right, so this is what we have. So this one was done with the carbon black and the open acrylic. I did not let it dry, I just pulled the print right away. This one is just with the carbon black. I let it dry and then lifted the print. For the next transfer, we're going to try these flowers. And I think those will look quite nice with the pink background. All right, for the second one, we're going to go in with a little bit of carbon black. And we need to try to get just a little bit of open acrylic. If we use too much, it's just not going to work well. Well, there you have it. Um, the other print, the bunny. Well, that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoy this video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.